بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم And that the events which are now unfolding in the world, the attack on Afghanistan, the attack on Iraq, the new American imperium that is taking over the world, are all meant to serve one mission, to pave the way for the state of Israel to wage a big war. And as a consequence of that big war that Israel is going to wage, the territory of the state of Israel is going to dramatically expand to encompass the biblical frontiers of Israel, of the Holy Land. Bible says, from the river of Egypt 
to the river Euphrates. That's not true. The Quran proves that that is false. The Holy Land does not exist from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates. That is false. But it's there in the Bible. They put it in. And so Israel has to wage a big war which will dramatically expand the territory of the state so that Israel will, swear, will, will, will control the Suez Canal tomorrow. And Israel will control the oil of the Gulf tomorrow. When Israel wages that big war, I expect that Israel will unleash weapons of warfare we've never seen before. And at the end of it, Israel will take over from the United States as the new ruling state in the world. But Israel cannot wage that war while still there are any significant obstacles in the way. And now put on your thinking caps. Which is the most significant obstacle which still stands in the way of Israel waging a big war? Is it a man named Osama bin Laden? And his men hiding in caves in Afghanistan. Are they significant obstacles in the path of Israel? Is it Taliban in Afghanistan? Wake up! None of these are significant obstacles in the path of Israel. Israel has one major obstacle in its way that must be removed before Israel can wage that big war. And it is Pakistan's nuclear weapons capacity.